Hi, this is Wayne from East Tim Systems, and today I'm going to talk about Uplink. Uplink is the software that comes with our digital link interface, and it allows you to upgrade your 2B to the latest firmware. It's not available as a download, so if you want to use it, then you need to buy digital link from East Tim Systems, from us, or from one of our stockists. Before I start, make sure your 2B can successfully connect to your computer with something like Commander. Uplink and Commander use the same systems internally, so if your 2B works with Commander, it should work with Uplink, and it's a lot easier to debug link issues with Commander than it is with Uplink. You can either download the firmware from our website, or if you're after the latest cutting edge releases, you'll find them hiding in our developer section on the forum. Links to both you can find in the descriptions below. Before you start to connect things, you also need to install Uplink. Uplink normally comes on the USB stick, or if you have an older version, a little mini CD. There are two versions of Uplink, 2.1 and 2.3. Generally, we say use the latest version you have. You only need 2.3 if you've got a 64-bit Mac. Everything else will quite happily run on a Mac or a Windows machine. Installing of Uplink is similar to any other application, so I'm not going to go through it here. So you should now have a 2B digital link, uplink installed on the computer. I'm using a Mac here. The firmware and the location on your computer that you can find it. It's also a good idea to make note of the MD5 signature code. That was on the download page where you had the firmware, as you will be asked to check it during the installation process. The next step is to switch your 2B into bootloader mode. Press and hold the select button and then switch on. You notice now you have a B in the display. Now you have your 2B in bootloader mode, the next stage is to plug in your digital link. Plug in the digital link into the 2B, and then plug the USB connection into your computer. Now run Uplink. Select the serial port from the dropdown. Click Connect. You should now see Port Open. Click Version. Your 2B should now report its current firmware. If this doesn't work, click version again. If things don't appear to work at this point, don't panic. Firstly, check all the connections and then check you have actually switched your 2B into bootloader mode. You should have a display with just a B, nothing else. If you haven't started downloading, then you can unplug everything and start again. If things have failed halfway through the download, which is rare, but let's face it, We've all tripped over cables before. Just go back to the beginning. Make sure you have followed every single step. The digital link cable actually powers the 2B during the update process to ensure that a flat battery is not going to cause an issue. But we do suggest you start with a full battery just to make things easier. Now click the transfer button and select the firmware file for download. Check the MD5 value is correct. The MD5 signature is a code that we publish with the firmware that ensures the version of firmware you're downloading to your 2B has not been corrupted or damaged. If the file is different to the file we've published, then the MD5 code will also be different. All you need to do is ensure the MD5 code shown by Uplink when you run it is the same as the code we publish on the website. You can find the MD5 codes on the same page as the download for the firmware. Each version of firmware will have its own version of the MD5 code. Now Uplink should start transferring the firmware file to your 2B. Let's speed things up a little. This normally takes seven or eight minutes to complete. Once the new firmware has downloaded, your 2B should now reboot. Success! Now that you have downloaded the firmware, you need to perform a factory reset. Press select, rotate the adjust knob until you see full reset on the display. Press select and then rotate adjust to select yes. Press select again to confirm. Your 2B is now reset back to factory settings. That is basically it. You've installed new firmware. 
If your 2B doesn't appear to reset at the end, just unplug the digital link cable and power cycle it. But don't forget to do the factory reset. If you don't like the new firmware, then don't forget you can revert back to the older version just by rerunning the install process with the firmware that you actually want to use. Hope that helps. If it has, please give us a like and don't forget, please subscribe to the channel.